Okay guys, here's a quick and dirty how to use the Zoom app on your issued iPad. So first make sure that you have the Zoom app downloaded. If you're in the squadron, log into learning Wi-Fi. To download the app, go to app catalog, search Zoom, and you're gonna see Zoom cloud meeting. So install that. Within 30 seconds, you're gonna see it appear. What? The first time using your Zoom, you will need to create an account, especially if you're going to host a meeting. Once you create an account, you're going to be issued personal meeting ID number. So we're going to pretend like this is my iPad uh, as an instructor, and this phone is a student's phone. So as a student, they're going to also download the app, but they don't need to create an account they don't need to sign up so as an instructor I'm gonna give them my personal meeting ID and they're just gonna join the meeting so for joining the meeting they're gonna take five eight two zero three four two three zero nine and they're gonna join the meeting first I have to uh, start the meeting though and I'm gonna elect to not have the video on so call using internet audio yep so this video is off and you can see it right here it's off but my volume is on and then the student is going to join my meeting as well call using internet audio i'm gonna elect to to mute it, so it's muted right now just for the video purposes so it's not um, echoing. So as an instructor, if I wanna share content, uh, so Howie showed how to share your photos, I'm gonna show you how to screen share. So we're gonna click screen, you're gonna see this, make sure that the zoom is selected and then start broadcasting, so three, two, one, and now whatever's on my iPad, my student's gonna see as well. So now I can just use the iPad as I wish. And you will see the red up here, meaning that it's recording whatever you're sharing. The big thing is that if you have an embarrassing background or some embarrassing photos, just make sure you're not sharing that with your students. So, hey, if you wanna go in your Aero app, and show them some approach plays or show them moving maps, you can do that now. All right, let's say we wanna review the 202 ball three. Here you go, let's open up 202 ball three, chapter four. Now I can actually zoom in and focus on whatever and the student will see that as well. Oh, okay, maybe I wanna highlight a sentence they're like, okay, why don't you read what I just highlighted and the student will be able to do that. And the student is able to zoom in and zoom out as well. All right, let's say I wanna show them an approach plate. All right. And I really wanna focus on the VDP part of it so we can just zoom into that and the student will see that. Let's say I wanna annotate the approach plate. So the way I do that is taking a screenshot. The way we take a screenshot is hitting the top button up here, the power button and the home screen, and you hit it at the same time. So top button right here and the home button, and you hit it at the same time. And that's gonna take a screenshot. The student can see the screenshot. I'm gonna open up the screenshot and now I can annotate it on here. I'm gonna hit the marker, select my color, let's say red, and I can now annotate it. Hey, let's focus on the VDP. What power setting are we going to set? Oh, okay, we're going to set 16 on 1. What power setting are we going to set after the VDP? All right, 21 line on line. Once I'm done annotating this, I can now delete it. So a pretty neat tool. Once I'm done broadcasting, I can uh, screen broadcasting stop. I can just hit on the red and just stop it. Or I can go back to my Zoom and just hit stop broadcasting. So now it's gonna go back to your video or um, your voice. All right, sweet.
to end your meeting and meeting. There you go. Cheers.